Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to the lesson number one for our course SolidWorks. So first we go to SolidWorks software, create a new file and select the option part. To start drawing this piece, we will be drawing this profile in the front plane. Which is front plane, right click and choose the option for sketch. We don't have to worry right now for all the dimensions, just draw an overall shape. We click the option line, there are two arcs on the top, we can choose the option arc or circle. I will be using the option circle. Center point from this point and another concentric circle. With the option trim entities, we can cut the arcs on lines that we don't need. We choose the option trim entities. And now we start dimensioning our drawing. We choose the option Smart Dimensions. Here is going to have 80 units. Height is going to be 40 units. This line, it will have an horizontal distance of 10 units. There is an angle here of 45 degrees. And there is a distance of 40 units from here to here. 40 units and a radius of 10 units. As we can see, this piece is completely symmetric. That means that all this side is equal to this side. If we choose this line and hold in control and choose this line, we will see a menu that says Add Relations. We can click that this line, it will be collinear or aligned, and there, they will be an equal distance, the same distance. The same situa similar situation will happen with these two lines. We can choose this line and this line and this line will be equal distance. When the lines uh, or our drawing turn black, that's mean that it's all constrained. When it's blue, that's mean that there are still some dimensions or relations that we need to add. So if we grab it here and we try to move it or drag it, and if it's moving, that's mean that we we'll need to work it on here. Okay, so what it's asking is this, we're going to add the relation that this arc is completely perfectly tangent to this line. So we click the arc and holding control we click this line and add relation we click tangent. We can close our sketch right here. And now, uh, based on my preference, I always like to uh, leave a main sketch that I can use for future reference or future sketch. So I will be creating a new sketch right here to extrude uh, 30 units and then I will be creating a new sketch to extrude just this little piece right here which is 10 units. So same from playing, create a new sketch and we can draw this. Click online. Okay. And we can for this arc we can use arc or circle as well, but I because I have the reference sketch. I can use the option convert to convert entity to do it in a faster way. So we click here and we click on convert entities and 
already have all my profile throw. So I will be starting this part 30 units. We click we we exit the sketch and we click on features so we will see the option is true. It will ask the direction that we would like to strut the sketch. It could be any direction in this case and the distance would be 30 units. We click OK. And now we need to strut this 10 inches of this little arc. So I will be creating on this face a new sketch. So we right click here and we choose the option sketch. From this view orientation, I can see completely from this side, so it's easier for me to draw over the reference sketch. If I want to hide whatever is true before, I can click on this part on the bus true one, right click, and it say hide. Now I can draw easier and it's more visible to draw over. line here and I can uh, convert entities this to circle. If I want to show again my strut, I, I right click on both strut 1 and click on the option show. On this cache I will be struting click on features strut and it will be 10 inches. This option merge your soul. That's mean that this part it will be joined to this part. So at the end it will be just one piece. If I uncheck it will be a separate piece. In this case it's just one piece because there's not any division line over here. So we click accept and we have all this drawing. Um, if we would like to create a drawing from from this solid, we will have to save it first. We're going to put any name. I will put part seven example. And then we create a new file. So after we create the option new file, we have to choose the option for drawing. So we will create something very similar to this. We have a top view, front view, side view, and isometric view. I'm going to choose the layout, just the first one as a sample. And we browse for our part. We browse for the part on the location where we already say before. And we print all the parts. We choose the front view, side view, top view and isometric view. Now we can start calling the annotations and dimensions on our drawing. It will be exactly the same as when we were modeling. So we click on the tab annotation, click on small dimension option and we can start so from here to here. This line it will be equal to 30 This will be equal to 80. The height will be 40. This radio is equal to 10 units. This angle is equal to 45 degrees. This distance from here to here is equal to 10 and this width is equal to 30. So that will be all, all set. If you want to create this exercise and then create short drawings, uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll be uploading all the uh, basic um, exercise for solid work and more advanced. Thank you.